standing here with pink galahs and a uh, lot of muscle to my right, but um, you know, it's, it's you know, pretty exciting for everyone involved to, to get two runners in the Inter-Dominion and, and just to have two runners just in the series for us was pretty exciting. Um, you know, it was, it was uh, a bit of a risk sort of coming up, you know, there was a lot of uncertainty around sort of the series with COVID. Um, border closures and all that sort of stuff. It's just exciting and, and rewarding to just make the final and whatever happens, happens. You know, a lot of muscle. He was bought out of New Zealand, you know, um, when we were looking for sort of a, a nice horse and he was a derby winner at, at three and his form had tapered off and, um, you know, we sold him as a horse to a lot of clients and, and a lot of new people that, to the industry and a lot of small percentage owners. Um, we were able to give people an opportunity to sort of come in a, a pretty good quality horse, at a, you know, very small percentage, and, and um, we sold him as a, as a horse that we didn't have to improve, we just had to get him back to his best. And we always said, um, you know, that we thought if we could do that, we could get him in races like this. And, you know, from a long way out, he was from the start of the, the, uh, the, nom, the noms, you know, he, he started pretty high on the list. and. He only just snuck into the series and you know to make the final with him he's done a fantastic job but we we sort of believed in him and we thought um, you know the three heats and and in into the final would really suit him we know he's um, a quality horse and just driven that that nice quiet trip along the fence he seems to you know follow speed really well and he'll need another run like that on Saturday night but so far we're really pleased with how the two horses have tracked him. Sophia Arvidsson, my partner, um, but also, you know, we're co-training partners and she's she's the main driver, you know, um, behind me and, and beside me and in front of me. Before the series, you know, she put in a hell of a lot of work, you know, with all our horses, but these two in particular to make sure they're 100% to come and to have her to be able to come up on, on Saturday night and drive a lot of muscle. Uh, I know she's very excited but it also makes me very proud that she can be here and, and driving you know, such a prestigious race. Not too worried about our, our draws. Yes, they could always be better, but they could have been a hell of a lot worse too. And, um, 3,000 metres, um, you know, we'll just let it pan out and let the dust settle and see what happens. But, you know, it's only, it's only where you start the race. It's, it's not where you finish, so there's no point worrying about it. There's nothing we can do about it, and we've just got to go out there and do our best. Little Pink Galaz is going up. Is she going to do it again? She hit the front, Little Pink Galaz. Yes, she does it again. She's done a, an amazing job and she's taken us on an amazing journey um, as a three-year-old to win three group ones and, and one against the older horses and Oaks and then to beat the boys in the derby, you know. That was just something that, uh, you know, was just an amazing journey and, you know, we're just so proud of what she's done and she was able to go to Brisbane then and through the winter and campaign up there and, and win another a big one. So, you know, that was that was aimed around this series. She had a little let up and come back home and, and won the Bill Collins mile back to back. And that was a, you know, very, very pleasing um, and rewarding moment for all the stable and Caleb Law and Brian. You know, we're so proud of her. And um, every time she goes down the track, she just does her best. You know, she, she doesn't always win or whatever but you just know that she's always going to do her best and she tries her heart out and um, you know the three heats you know leading leading up um, I haven't been able to get her a good trip and you know the, my job on Saturday night will, will be to, to get her a trip that she needs to be able to win the race and um, I haven't been able to do that so far through the heats but hopefully um, I can get it right on Saturday night. It's a time honoured event you know you, I know it's only the Trotters series, but you know, growing up, um, you know, the Inter Dominion was the pinnacle, and you know, really still is for us. And um, I think at my dead ball, I said I wanted to win in the Inter Dominion. You know, that was one of the things I wanted to do in life. And um, you know, along the way, you know, I've always followed the Trotters, um, you know, and the Paces uh, as well. But you know, there's been some fantastic horses come through this series and win these races and it's not always the best horse who wins it um, but you know to win something like this with either of these horses would be you know just a, a dream come true and it's something that you aspire to from a young age and if you're growing up in harness racing you know it's just got so much history steeped in this race and 
Uh, it's just great to be a part of it.